Okay, God, the sweat. I just got back from my workout. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am done with my workout for the day. So I have exactly one hour until my first meeting. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and then make some coffee and get ready for the day. But welcome to the vlog, everyone. It is the week that I'm finally waking up at 6 a.m. to work out. And we're two days in so far. If you missed the last vlog, I started yesterday. So two down, three to go. I need to catch my breath and shower. Since I washed my hair yesterday, I didn't want to wash it two days in a row. So you might think this is gross or genius. I just took a body shower and then blow dried the sweat dry out of my hair. And I'm going to spray in some dry shampoo, soak up oils, you hit some body, then just kind of style it and pretend nothing happened. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna put on a little makeup. I don't really feel like doing a full face, but I do like to get ready on these meeting days. So I'm gonna pour some coffee too. Maybe I'll go for a walk and get iced coffee later because I'm kind of in the mood for it, but I don't have any. Anyway, this is a work week in my life. I guess I should catch you up to speed in case, actually, let's put on makeup first and then we'll catch you up to speed. A little bit better now. <laughs> it is five minutes until my meeting, four and a half actually. So I'm really quickly putting on mascara and I thought I would just catch you guys up to speed. Hello, it's Tuesday, but I'm starting my week in my life vlog because I did a little Sunday and Monday vlog last. So if you saw that, then you know that I'm finally, like I said, starting my challenging myself to wake up at six and work out. And honestly, guys, it's been so much better the two days I've done. It's been so much better than I thought it would be. Like I thought it would be actually grueling in the workout at 6.30 and I have like plenty of energy. I mean, I take pre-workout, so that definitely helps, but still like you'd think just being in the gym that close to waking up at six, it sounds harder than it actually is. I'm just happy with it so far. So I got to sleep because I worked out early yesterday, then I had my whole evening, so I edited my last vlog and got that done by like 10. So then I went to sleep by 11, which is optimal. Now I'm awake. I didn't even press snooze this morning. That's a big step for me. So I just got up at 6.05, did a leg workout. So I'm already feeling good and got some coffee to start off my day. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful today. I actually ran into someone in the elevator who lives on my floor. And she was saying it's gonna be like in the 70s today and sunny so i might try and go up to the roof and do some work in the afternoon or at least just get an excuse to go outside um also i went out on the patio i got a little clip of that right after my workout and it was so pretty because the sun was like hitting the flowers through the trees on the patio and there's a couple tables out there so that would be a good place to work too okay yeah i look a little rough honestly my hair not bad for sweat and not clean hair not bad for a bitch with no talent okay 8 27 time to log on to slack perfect timing i'm proud of myself so yes welcome to this week in my life today i'm going grocery shopping after work i guess i'll show you guys later in case you didn't see that vlog but i made a meal plan yesterday so i'm gonna follow that i'm really like honing in on being super healthy i think is what my goal is this week including sleep including water planning meals working out etc i'm excited about it so happy tuesday everyone hope your day and your week was off to a good start i'm going to jump on zoom so here we go oh i have a bunch of slack messages okay see you later so i finished my first meeting and i was actually supposed to have another one back to back but it got pushed to later in the afternoon which is great so i I've been trying to like stay as focused as possible, but I'm so hungry that it's 11.15 and I think I'm gonna make food, which I usually eat after noon, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Like I don't really intermittent fast super strictly anyway. It's just usually I'm not that hungry until then because that's just what I'm used to. But because of like getting up early in my workout, I am starving. <laughs> it's like making me not focus as well. So I'm gonna make food now and um, continue to work while I eat. And then maybe for a lunch break, I'll go for a walk and get coffee or something because it's so nice out. But probably hear the sounds of the city because I have the window open. Yeah, I have been having like bad allergies for some reason. I've been like sniffling and sneezing for the past few days. Sunday was when it was the worst which I vlogged. Yesterday it was still kind of continuing and today I had to like turn my camera off a couple times because I was having sneeze attacks, but it's gonna take like an allergy 
until. Maybe it's because I keep having my window open or I don't know. I just feel like usually I don't have spring allergies, but we're gonna deal with it. So anyway, just a random side note. I'm going to eat something. I'm gonna make avocado toast with an egg as usual. <laughs> and yeah, so, so far the morning's been good. It's just crazy how fast it's gone by already. Okay, I actually put some of my vegan cheese on top of the egg and it's kind of just like an open face breakfast sandwich and i'm hyped about it so cheers to that okay since i ate while i was working i'm gonna take my break now to go get coffee go work outside i don't know why i just did that but you know i'm just excited so wearing all black to celebrate the spring day naturally let's go get some sunshine <laughs> It's pretty windy out here, so I don't want to talk long. Got a vanilla cold brew, half sweet, with a splash of oat milk. You guys, I'm just discovering all of these new outdoor spaces now that it's nice out. There's this little deck outside, flowers. And yeah, it feels so nice. It's literally like a summer day. Like I was getting too hot in this light jacket walking to Coffee Bean. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just sitting outside and getting back to work. And I'll spend probably the first half of the afternoon out here. It's a great day. Okay, um, that was a lot. I was not expecting that. There was um, like a notice on my phone from, wow, I look rough. I got like the New York Times notification like an hour ago that they reached a verdict. This is my allergies. Like why is my eyes so red? Just this one. Sorry, I'm like overwhelmed because I was not expecting, I wasn't expecting them to reach the verdict today. Like I was not emotionally prepared for that um, and he was just found guilty on all three charges. So it's just such a relief because I think, I mean, obviously this is a very small step in the grand scheme of things and justice, but I don't know. I feel like we're all, at least me, just so trained. I don't wanna speak for everyone, but just so trained to expect the least. Never expecting people to actually be held accountable and like people just get away with things and our expectations are just low. I didn't wanna get my hopes up. Um, that he would be found guilty on all three charges and I'm just so relieved that he was. Sorry, that was unexpected and again, I look like a mess and this is just a lot, but now that that happened, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. It feels weird to like be going grocery shopping right now. I need groceries anyway. So it's 5.15, the work day is done. Um, I just watched that as I finished up work and now we're gonna go to Trader Joe's, take the small win. Oh, what a day. Okay, before I show you the groceries I got, we'll do a little refresher in case you didn't see the last vlog where I showed you this dinner menu that I made. So last night was Monday, I had leftover pasta. Tonight, I'm gonna make a balsamic chicken salad and tomorrow burrito bowl and then I'm gonna make chili for the rest of the week and go out on Saturday. So that's the plan. And with that, this is just a random thing I Googled on Canva, by the way, it's a free template. We are stocked up, you guys. This is kind of a hefty grocery haul, but I also am a couple days late to grocery shopping because I didn't go on the weekend. But let's just get into it. A lot of similar stuff to what I usually get, but then a few different things too. So let's start over here. For the chili, I got some diced onions. I know I'm kind of cheating by not dicing it myself, but you know, if they sell them, why not get them? And I got some baby carrots. I don't know, I wanna make more habits of snacking on veggies if I can. So I got some carrots, I got some grape tomatoes, which I'm gonna put in my salad tonight. And I got a ripe-ish avocado, some not so ripe avocados, that's usually how I do it. And a couple bell peppers, a couple sweet potatoes. I got a cucumber for my salad tonight also. Um, I got some turkey bacon, more everything but the bagel seasoning. And for sweets, I got ginger chews and dark chocolate honey mints, my favorites. Okay, moving over here, I got six eggs, some spring mix. Back here, I got corn chips to have with the chili and gluten-free bread, gluten-free bagels, everything bagels, of course. I got some spicy hummus and some vegan cream cheese, more balsamic glaze because I'm running low, and then I got two canned things for my chili, some kidney beans, which I didn't use last time, but I'm gonna add them this time, and some diced tomatoes. This isn't all that, I already just have some basically, so I just got one smaller can. And then for proteins, I got some 
lean ground turkey and this they didn't have the balsamic chicken they were pretty low on chicken so i got the lemon pepper chicken instead which is fine lastly some cold brew so that is my grocery haul for the week again i'm trying to be a little healthier so just like snacking on veggies and hummus bell peppers that kind of thing i'm gonna put this away now i don't think i have anything frozen probably yeah 6 30 i hit all three goals you guys very proud oh oh there she is come on there while wow, they all end in two did you see that satisfying okay and kind of hungry so maybe i will eat on the early side i usually eat around eight <laughs> or later i don't know i guess i can make my salad now so i also if i did have vegan feta i would use that in the salad i mean i guess i'll tell you when i'm actually making it but for now let's put this stuff away lunchtime now it's 12 30 i still you guys i just i haven't filled my face hardly today because i just look rough like i look like allergies and honestly like i haven't been sniffling as much today um but this eye has just been red since yesterday and i don't know i don't have any like eye drops or anything but it doesn't like itch or hurt and i haven't been touching it so i don't know when it's just gonna go away but i just look <laughs> rough we're gonna ignore that i also just have the librarian kind of look today i mean it was a good morning and i'm just glad that that meeting is done yeah it was helpful but i was just nervous for it so i'm glad that it's over and now i'm going to eat some food i'm gonna make avocado toast since i bought little cherry tomatoes i'm gonna put some tomatoes on it <laughs> really exciting stuff to fix up my day i feel like i just sound congested too like this is rough but we're gonna make it through. I should probably get some allergy meds that aren't expired. Did I say that on the vlog? Um, I have these Alivert, like they're dissolvable allergy things. And I realized that they expired last September. So <laughs> I should probably do that. This might be too niche and I probably shouldn't share this, but I don't know why. Like it must be just something in my family. My mom gave me these allergy pills like back when I was home last. And I don't know what it is, but my parents just always have like expired over-the-counter meds. Like they just don't repurchase them. And then they'll have Benadryl that was like from 2016. And I'm like, mom. Anyway, that's just a little side note. So I still think they're like the expiration date on medicine isn't, well, not all medicine. I don't want to speak as if I'm a professional. I'm not. But my understanding is a lot of like things like that, like allergy pills or, you know, Sudafed, I don't know, over-the-counter kind of stuff. Um, the expiration doesn't mean like it goes bad, you can't take it. It just means it's not as effective after a certain date. So, I mean, it would still be beneficial to get medicine that isn't ineffective now. But anyway, that's just a side note. I am drinking my water. Whew. I got up early and worked out again, third day in a row, and I'm still feeling good. I already had, this is my second coffee of the day already. <laughs> because i've just been tired i still went to sleep before midnight i was facetiming my friends last night who were in california so it's earlier for them so i went to sleep at like 11 15 11 30 ish could be worse i do think i can get to bed even earlier tonight i'm still shooting for like 10 30 which hasn't happened yet but baby steps and um yeah so i'm gonna probably take a rest day from the gym tomorrow just because i've gone a few days in a row now and i want to give my muscles a little break um, but I still want to get up early and then maybe go for a walk or something or get some movement in in the morning So I'm getting ahead of myself today is Wednesday today We are still have the rest of the afternoon to sit on our computers and do work and before that I'm gonna eat food so <laughs> uh. Okay, you guys work is over now it is Almost six, I think. I still look like a mess. 
and if i'm being honest like it just wasn't a great day i don't know it wasn't like anything terrible but it was just you know you have those days they can't all be good days you know you can't have the good ones without the ugh ones it's okay it's all good i want to like get out of my apartment though just because i need some fresh air so i'm gonna go for a walk i actually am i don't think i mentioned it in this vlog but in my monday vlog i mentioned that i'm doing like the um mari fitnesses she calls it like a sleigh challenge i'm just doing it loosely as like using her habit tracker and i'll show you just really quick i'll show you as a refresher <laughs> if you didn't see that one but basically uh, this is the habit tracker it's a workout which i did this morning gallon of water which this is my last bottle before a gallon morning self-care which to me i'm marking it as like getting up early and then 30 minute outdoor walk i don't think i'm going to go for 30 minutes right now but just getting outside and instead of like this is supposed to be checking with a friend but i'm using that as taking my supplements <laughs> so i'm kind of tweaking it for what i want to do um, but yeah, so it's been really good. I just fill it out in, oops, in the preview app. I just copy and paste the little dots to fill them in. I'm going to fill in my supplements I took. I'm gonna wait until I finish my water, until I go for a walk to fill the rest in. But it's kind of nice to be able to like, you know, hold yourself accountable for these things. I'm gonna go get my little walk in. Ah, I just need to listen to music and be outside and not be looking at my computer screen. And my hood just fell off. And I think I'm gonna FaceTime Orly tonight. I should actually text her and see what time she's done with work because I haven't talked to her in a while. I don't know, just like relax. I think I need some time. Just chill out and maybe read, not do anything. Say hi to my vlog. Oh Guys, my God, it's Orly. Like we're still friends. I feel like people always just like assume that we're no longer friends because we never see each other. Because <laughs> we're not friends also. Anyway, um, Orly's giving me a physical therapy session because she's seen like a million specialists. And oh yes, she has a gua sha. She was giving like me a gua sha, gua -sha tutorial. And a little roller ball. You can use this on your She has a million trap. things. Trap. Yeah, we're talking about trap muscles. Basically, I was telling her that I have like a lot of shoulder tension and so i remembered as we were talking about different tools that i have this thing that um i got in a fab fit fun box that i don't use so i'm just kind of trying to figure it out as we're on facetime damn fool while doing it <laughs> honestly it kind of feels good that i really don't know what i'm doing <laughs> this is probably like so incorrect that i'm causing no, more harm I mean, I do just need to like take the fucking video off, but I want to try and like look up videos with this because I feel like it would make more sense on a leg yes. because it does have that Otherwise, sort of. I'm telling you, use the little ball thing. Or like it. arm because it could go like on yeah. your side of your arm because you can use a tennis ball for that too. You said Gen Z probably yeah. hasn't sold out all the tennis balls in America probably yet. Not, so. I know. The gua sha, you're done. But yeah, gua sha, don't even try. Go for this physical therapy consultation, <laughs> by the way. I'll request you tonight. And if anyone watching your vlog wants advice, they can also Venmo me. Yeah, seriously, everyone Venmo at OrlyS813. I actually don't know what your Venmo is, but that was my guess. I have guess. no idea. I'm gonna look into this. You've inspired me to actually like look into my health problems and diagnose them, um, because this is probably Goals. something I should do. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. Yes, that's a good thing. And I am not going to the gym this morning, but I still want to wake up early. Um, I did set my alarm for 6.30 instead of 6 because I went to sleep kind of late last night. But I woke up on my own. Oh, hello, sun. I woke up on my own at 6.15. It's now like 7 something, and I'm gonna go for a walk to get in my movement this morning and go treat myself to an overpriced coffee to start my day. So, happy Thursday, almost Friday, hell yeah. Okay, you guys, I am now back for my walk. It was so nice, it was kind of short, it wasn't even 30 minutes, but it was actually pretty cold outside today. It's like, let me look at the temperature actually. 
um, but I think it's dipped a lot and especially because it's so early it hasn't really warmed up yet It's 37 degrees and no wonder and I was like wow I'm just in a singular sweatshirt because I didn't think to look at the temperature because it was literally 73 two days ago <sighs> New York just needs to make up its mind. But anyway now it's still not even eight o'clock yet and I am just chill and I'm watching YouTube videos like before work because I have time um, And I'm not working out. So recently I've gotten kind of intrigued into skincare TikTok. I'm watching right now a video about someone like reviewing a bunch of drunk elephant products and I really feel like I could take better care of my skin. I'm not very strategic with my skincare. I mean, what I do works for me because I have sensitive like eczema skin, so I know what'll, you know, help with my eczema. Um, but I don't really like put much thought into, you know, preserving my skin, anti-aging, like the texture and stuff. I'm trying to like dip my toe into better skincare. So I'm watching some videos. I actually do have some drunk elephant products that they gifted me literally this is like the most incredible thing and like i feel very blessed i got a pr box from drunk elephant a while back and i've used a few of the products but i didn't want to like use all of them because i wanted to like look into it more and i know that it's like you know skin's different and i just didn't want to go full force with something i didn't know anything about and just i never got around to it so um i'm doing my research now <laughs> and i'm trying to like be more intentional with my skincare and also I don't want to use a bunch of new things at once in case it does irritate my skin. So I'm just going to add in like maybe one or two products at a time and I'll let you know how my um, skincare journey goes. I, the thing I want to get next is hyaluronic acid because that's what everyone says is so good for moisturizing. I'm not skincare by eye rub. <laughs> I don't know the words that are like actually accurate for this, um, but kind of just like keeping your skin like bouncy and hydrated and stuff. Um, like more glowy and I really want to get that and also if you guys remember um, that elf moisturizer I got that I really really love it's the I think it's like hello moisture face cream I love it and I realized that it has hyaluronic acid in it and it's been really great for my skin so I definitely think that I want to try just using it straight up so I got something in the mail I stopped by my mailbox on the way back up and it's very small um I ordered this because actually I think it was Kenzie Elizabeth uh talked about this in her video and I've seen other people talk about this and it's really well rated I do wear sunscreen but not habitually like on my face like for example my makeup has some SPF in it but not much so I got a sunscreen. Yeah, I got the little size and they really weren't kidding. I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. <laughs> this is so small, but I guess I just, I wanted to try it out to make sure it wasn't gonna irritate my skin before I went for the big one. And it's pretty expensive, but I got the Super Goop Glow Screen. So this is supposed to be like really safe for your skin. It has non-irritating, it's vegan, SPF 40. I've heard that it gives like a little bit of a glow. There's this one and then there's also the Unseen sunscreen which is better for if you don't want it to like give you a glow <laughs> me not knowing anything and trying to like speak on this okay so yeah this is so small i'm gonna just gonna try a little bit why not spf 40 i don't have anything on my face right now it definitely is kind of tinted like it has a little bit of color to it which is good if you don't want to wear makeup in the summer but just give your skin a little something okay here we go wow it actually does feel like foundation i feel like i should be in front of a mirror but i'm just kind of using the camera so this is good um just to, like protect your skin from the sun because that's the main thing that irritates not irritates but sir i'm speaking about skincare because the sun is like the number one skin damage causer right so um i need to be better about using sunscreen every day especially going into summer and being outside more so i don't know does that do anything i should probably look in the mirror okay the skin around my nose and stuff is like still really dry from allergies but i don't know i mean i feel like i kind of see a glow but my skin's just so dull right now to begin with that i don't know i don't know if you guys can notice what everyone's um maybe let me go in the sun <laughs> anything okay anyway um so yeah i'm gonna try that out for a bit just make sure it doesn't irritate my skin see if i like it and have to repurchase it didn't have a strong scent like at all i didn't use too much but dipping my toe into skincare let me know if you guys have products you swear by i've been watching tiktoks and stuff and trying to see what would probably be the best routine for my dry eczema prone skin yeah i'm just trying to be more mindful so i'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and watching this youtube video i don't think i'm gonna get ready today but i'll probably log on to slack around 8 30 so happy thursday it's been really nice just to start my morning being outside 
and not having to rush anything and just chilling out. So good stuff. Lunch time, another bagel sandwich. We're using the big knife to cut it in half. Oh, I don't want to make a mess and a mess a little messy but looks delicious okay so i've been working all morning um i haven't really been vlogging though but i just had lunch and then um an unexpected meeting came up on my calendar and they're like are you free to chat at one which is in a few minutes and i was like sure <laughs> i look like this but it's fine such is life and such is work from home i know it's cold but part of me still wants to go up onto the roof or something it might be too cold for that let's see if it's warmed up actually it's only 45 that's not very warm i don't know i might try and see if i can go up there and just sit at a table or something or if it's just too much but anyway before that i'm going to my meeting now <laughs> see you later it is the end of the work day and sierra and i are actually recording the podcast tonight in a little less than an hour now so i don't have much time but I just remembered, well, I realized when I saw it like two days ago that I forgot that I got this blanket, like a throw blanket for the bed. And I had ordered it before I had changed like my color scheme kind of um, to include more tans instead of grays in my apartment and like decided to get a tan couch and everything. And I ordered this blanket from Etsy that's gray and I realized that I fully intended, I didn't even open it. Basically, it's like packed like this, compressed, and I didn't wanna open it and then have to repack it myself to return it because I was like, I'll just exchange this for a different color that fits better. And I put it in one of the closets over there, completely <laughs> forgot to do that entire thing. I just found it again and I was like, oh my God, the like return exchange window is definitely closed. So I figured I might as well open it and see. Maybe it will work. I don't expect it to, but I don't know. I mean, I figure at this point, like I'll probably have to sell it or give it to someone. It was like kind of pricey, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe I will keep it, I don't know. But I figured I would open it with you guys. I haven't done any new home decor reveals in a while, so. So intense. Oh my God, and it's fully taped all the way around. Okay, so that was just the outer coating. <laughs> now we have to get through this. And I'm pretty sure that is legit just tape all the way up and down. I got this on Etsy from a seller in Ukraine. So it had to come a while, a long way. I really don't even know where to begin on this thing. Okay, you know what? This is probably just painful to watch. Okay, I'm not even gonna open it all the way because I don't even wanna tell you how long it took for me to get just this part off. And I can just tell that it is not the right color. Like even for what I thought initially, it's kind of hard to tell actually with the reflection on the plastic, but it's pretty bluish gray. Like it's a very light blue gray color. I just don't think it goes with this. Like I'd wanna go more for the tan. So yeah, I just don't even wanna take it out of the last bag. So I think I'll probably try and sell it or something in this bag. Um, it's like a big oversized chunky knit. Seems fun, but yeah, very airtight <laughs> packaging. That was kind of a fail. Now we really know. Okay, you guys, it is later now. Sierra and I recorded the podcast and I am trying out this skincare product. I'm trying this Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. It's a chemical exfoliant, which I have never actually used. I did patch test it on my hand earlier and it was completely fine. No reaction, but I do have sensitive skin, so I just wanted to be sure. I mean, I feel like everyone should do that, just in case. I have heard such good things about this, about improving like skin's texture and making it one tone. And I do have a lot of just uneven skin tone and like, texture, <laughs> dryness, whatever. I don't know, I think it'll be very interesting. This is 25% AHA, 2% BHA. People have said on TikTok that this kind of formula does wonders for the skin. So I am just going to pump this here and apply an even layer. Oh, it's nice and cool. It said it might sting at first or like tingle because I haven't used it before. Oh, yep, it stings a little bit. I also have dry skin right now, even more sensitive than usual. And I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes and then rinse it off. Yep, it's not even that visible. Okay, updates to come. Okay, it's been a little over 20 minutes, so I'm gonna rinse this off with warm water. We're gonna apply a little bit. This actually in the box came with, I don't know if they always do, because I think they're supposed to go together, or if this was like a promo thing, but it has a little mini Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I'm gonna rinse this off with warm water, 
and then apply the oil and moisturizer and stuff. Here we go. I think I got some in my eyes. <laughs> okay, I would just advise that when you're rinsing it off, be sure to try and avoid the eye area, but we're all good. And I'm using a little bit of toner after I cleanse. Honestly, I think it actually was pretty exfoliating. There's still some dryness, but I think it's supposed to be more for like acne prone skin anyway, but I'm very impressed with the initial smoothness. So, and my skin's a little red just because it was a little harsh, but nothing abnormal from exfoliating. Okay, now I'm gonna use the little baby oil it came with. I already tested this too, so we're just gonna... Is this even... Is this thing on? Ooh, this feels nice, especially right after that exfoliant. Lastly, I'm going to use my e.l.f. moisturizer because again, I'm not trying to introduce like a million new products at once. Yeah, my skin's a little red, but it feels... Fine. I'm just gonna moisturize with this. Call it a night. First impression, good things, and we will see what my skin is like in the morning. Good night. Okay, you guys, <laughs> I had to cut my workout short because my mask broke, but it's okay because I was almost done anyway, but I was definitely the most tired today waking up and I snoozed till 6.15, but I did it. Got my full body workout in and I'm feeling good. It's just past 7.30. I'm going to shower and get ready for the day. My last, oops, oh my God, I almost caught that, but that was not smooth. My last 6 a.m. workout for the week. Overall, super glad that I did this and I definitely think I wanna continue because it just makes so much sense freeing up evening hours and then not having to like, skip workouts and stuff if I want to go do other things or like have plans in the evening. And it's just a good way to start my day overall and like just feel accomplished. I'll see you later. Okay, I need to get out of my apartment. So I'm going up to the roof. I'm just wearing like biker shorts and a tank top, um, but I have a sweater on over it because it is only like 60 degrees. So I do want to get some sun. I put on sunscreen, but um, it might be a little chilly. So I have this little jacket just in case, but yeah, I don't know. I just need to be out of these four walls. You know, when it's like, obviously you feel a little stir crazy after a while, but some days it hits you harder than others. So today we're going up to the roof for the afternoon or at least like an hour, <laughs> that might be enough. Nice and sunny. Also, I'm kind of cold because it's windy. So I put on my jacket, but it's nice to just be outside. Okay, you guys. It's five o'clock on Friday. You know what that means. We are done for the week. Honestly, I started off this week really strong. And I don't know, like something the last couple days, I just like lost my, not motivation, but I just feel really off. Like I'm second guessing myself and like in work and in my own personal life and stuff and i feel like it might be my period coming up because i find myself often you know the negative self-talk like the week leading up to it always gets me and just like comparing myself to people i don't know what it is but i'm like really getting in my head today so we're trying not to do that but at the same time like i've had a great week of like getting on my routines taking care of myself waking up early like being really motivated and you know getting all my workouts in and having these healthy habits that i was checking off like doing the habit tracker thing which has been great and like planning my meals i'm really proud of myself this week honestly it's been like a great week of self-discipline which is not often the case for me i wouldn't say not often it's not always the case for me but yeah and like getting into skincare and like trying to just really put my all into myself and focus on myself especially going into summer and just feeling my best but then the last couple days i'm not feeling my best so i'm just gonna you know assume it's just the time of the month thing because it always it's leading up to the end of the month but whatever Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, it's been a great week. I just feel kind of off these last couple days, but I'm not gonna let that derail me. I don't know, I'm just gonna try and like shake it off and leave it in the week and just have a fun night and a good weekend. Start fresh from there. But 
anyway i guess i'm just gonna end my vlog here because this is the end of the work week in my life portion it's been a week oh well, actually this vlog was only four days because i filmed my monday separate but i hope you guys enjoyed um i think it was a great week as far as you know like i said setting up new routines and kind of sharing with you guys how it's been going i 100 percent think i'm going to keep waking up at 6 a.m especially because now that i've started and done it for a full week and kind of like prove to myself that I can, you know? I think that's half the battle, is just like thinking you can do it. I mean, the way that you build confidence, this seems like stupid for just waking up slightly earlier, but you know, if you keep saying like, oh, I'm, I can't do that, oh, I would just like fall asleep, whatever, blah, 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 like just finding excuses and reasons why you can't do something, or like you don't have the confidence in yourself to do it, even as simple as just waking up earlier, you tell yourself the narrative that you can't, until you actually make a promise to yourself and keep it that's what's going to build your own confidence in being able to do something small like that or even on a bigger scale too is like you know setting yourself up for success in the sense of just saying okay well this one week i'm going to do this and then keeping that promise to yourself and then looking back and being like wow i did that and i'm proud of myself now it's much easier is what i'm saying to kind of implement it as a more long-term thing uh, maybe not every single day. Also, the more you do it, the easier it is to just wake up naturally that early, so. And getting more sleep, that's my, been my big thing. And being able to have more time in my evenings, I just feel like it makes a lot of sense. It's been a great, great experiment that I will continue. So, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Subscribe if you're not already because I upload vlogs about my work life, my other life, my non work days weekends in new york etc um on this channel stick around if you want to see more as i get into actual skincare and try more products actually i didn't even give much of an update on that facial my face was pretty red after the facial last night well it's not a real facial but baby facial is what the product is called that mask this morning my skin was so smooth i had to stop myself because i kept touching it but it really did work to just get like that layer of dead skin off and i do still have a little bit of dryness i mean it's i think it's not like the most hydrating thing i definitely noticed a difference in just my skin texture and i definitely think i'm going to do that like once a week um and yeah slowly incorporating like trying different products i also ordered a couple of serums online and i will show you guys when i get those and try those out and all that jazz but until next time I will see you next time. Who says that? I feel like that's someone's like signature thing. I don't remember, but love you guys. Bye.